I had went to my ninth year working for Walmart and I was only making $8.15 an hour. And out of those uh, nine years, two of them had been a customer service manager. And I still wasn't making enough uh, hourly wage to live. I'm just, I'm just existing. I'm not living at all. But with my uh, age, my limited education, I had to press forward and maintain my independence, maintain my dignity, even though I'm not making a living wage by no stretch of the imagination. And there's nothing I can do about it. There's no avenues that I can travel with, that I can get a living wage. Dukes is also an ordained Baptist minister. On this Sunday, she preached a sermon at the Greater McLaughlin Memorial Temple. Her faith, she says, has helped her keep strong while continuing to work at Walmart during the decade-long battle. All things we ask in Jesus' name, amen. To be a lead plaintiff in a case like this, particularly when you're a current employee, requires an enormous amount of courage and an enormous amount of stamina. It's not for the weak of heart. And I, I recall a conversation that we had, and I said, Betty, you know, there's two kinds of plaintiffs. This is one kind of plaintiff, they get discriminated against, and it's the worst thing that ever happened to them, and they're just destroyed. Second kind of plaintiff, they get discriminated against, it's bad, but they pick themselves up and they go forward. Which kind of plaintiff are you? And she looked at me and said, I kind of feel like Moses at the Red Sea. And I thought, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> 